Hi, I'm Scott for Expert Village, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a rotisserie chicken. Okay, now that the onion's all chopped up, we want to chop up a little bit of fresh garlic. So we'll take our whole clove here, and we'll break just a little piece off. We'll move this stuff down. Let's get it out of the way. And the best way to get the skin off of this guy is to put it down on the table, take a chef knife, make sure the blade's away from you, and just give it a quick hit right on the top. And you'll see that it pretty much pops right out. And take all your skin off. There you go. We have some nice garlic right there. Now when you use the fresh garlic, of course it's going to be very, very potent. So one clove should be just enough for us. So we'll take this and put it down and cut it once down the middle. And then we'll turn it sideways and we'll chop it up. Boy, you can just smell that. It's going to be on my fingers all night. I guess I'm going to be sleeping alone tonight. But at least I'll be sleeping good. So there we go. We've got our garlic chopped up nicely there. Quick tip to get garlic all throughout underneath the skin of the chicken is you take those little cloves that we just cut up, take maybe one or two of those little pieces, just like that, and take a paring knife and just cut a little sliver in the skin. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put these little pieces of garlic right underneath the skin so when it starts steaming up inside the rotisserie, the steam will stay underneath the skin and cook right into the chicken and underneath the skin. It's going to be awesome. So you just pick up the little sliver here and just shove that little guy in there. Doesn't have to go that far because, you know, garlic's really strong. So we'll just put two of those in there. All right. There we go. That's in there too. So now we can go ahead and flip the chicken straight up. So we're going to put our green onions in there and our onion mixture. That'll give the flavor on the inside. So we'll pick it up and we'll just stand them right up. And we'll be greeted with the big opening right in the bottom. That's where we're going to put all this stuff. All right, so we'll go ahead. We're not going to use all this because it's very potent. But we'll go ahead and we'll just grab a little bit of mix. Mix it together and just put it right inside the turkey. The chicken, sorry, right inside the chicken. Just kind of shove it in there just a little bit. There's maybe another little heaping handful there. And put that in there also. And here we go. We've got our nice onion mixture for the inside. So the outside's going to be garlicky. So the outside's going to be a little bit garlicky. And we're just going to want to put maybe a few of those little pieces of garlic that we cut up inside also. 